Although this is a complete painting on its own, I want to show you something you can do to take it up a level if you would like to. I want to indicate some background snowdrops, which will be out of focus. So there I'm just putting in a bit of a shape. And we'll see where we go with this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, is I'm going to lift out some colour. So we need a reasonably stiff brush and we need water and we need some paper to blot with. That is not a stiff brush. There's a stiff brush. So I'm going to give this a little bit of a scrub just staying within the pencil lines that I had created. And because these are colors that don't stain, I'll be able to lift paint. You see, there we have a petal. So just giving it a good old rub. If you were using a colour like phthalo blue, this wouldn't work because phthalo blue is a staining colour. And it's then going to throw this snowdrop further into the foreground because the white is not as bright and the edges are not crisp. In fact, with that, I may not even lift very much. In fact, I may even just bring in a little bit of colour there to define that shape. Okay. And then this here doesn't really need to be lightened, except perhaps on the surface closest to the light source. And then I can dampen that and feed in a bit of colour. Not as strong as this. Because I don't want it competing. This is just a sort of echo of a snowdrop. a wee bit more colour there. And then just a paler tone than what you'd find over here. And then I could actually run that shape through here using a flat stiff brush. So I just need to carry the line through. And you see how that, and I don't need to take it all the way. If I do that, it links up nicely. In the same way, I could lift out some leaves. add a bit of colour onto those. But you see it's given this painting a completely different dimension now. It's given it some context. And if I do this and run a leaf shape up there, it breaks into this area which had been a little bit empty. Okay, 
Now, if I wanted to, I could put a little bit of color over this. And if I take it towards the yellow end of the green mix, it's tying up with the yellow, which is up here. So this is just a way of making it a little bit more interesting than simply one solitary snowdrop. There we go.